Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you how to get iOS 14 public beta for your iPhone or your iPad or your iPod Touch. And I'll put a list of all the compatible devices that are going to be compatible with iOS 14. So check the description below to make sure yours is going to be compatible. And two things to do before you actually get the public beta here. The first thing is you need to back up your phone just in case anything goes wrong. So if you have iCloud, go to settings, Click your name right on top to go inside of iCloud. And then right here, find your device on the bottom. So this iPhone is going to be the one I'm going to update for this video. And I'm going to go to iCloud backup here and I'm gonna say backup now. And let a new backup get created. Just in case anything goes wrong, I could always revert back to this backup with iOS 13 on it. And the second thing I want you to do, I want you to go to settings and go down here to general and then click on iPhone storage. And right on top, I want you to make sure you have at least five gigabytes of storage here. If you don't, go ahead and free up some apps or photos or review anything that you see on the bottom to free up a little bit of space. iOS 14 is going to be relatively large, so you wanna make sure you have plenty of space here for it to install okay. After you're done doing that, go ahead and open up Safari here and go to beta.apple Com. This is where we're going to download the public beta here. Scroll down a little bit and click sign up and go ahead and press continue here with your Apple ID and accept the agreement here. Pick the iPad OS if you have that. If you want the iOS for iPhone, you would choose that here. And I'm going to scroll down and it says get started, enroll your iOS device. I'm gonna press that. And then again, it's gonna tell me to back up my device here. Again, if you don't have iCloud, you could also use your computer here to back up. It's gonna walk you through that. And then it's gonna say install profile. I'm gonna say download profile. Now, if I get out of this app here and go back to my settings, and let me go back to the homepage of my settings app, right on top, it says profile downloaded. Click that. And you should see iOS 14 for your iPhone or iPad here and press install right on top. Press install one more time. Now let me get out of the settings app. I'll show you what's happening. Right now it's downloading and installing that update. So if I go back to settings to see where that is right now, I just need to go to general. And then if I go to software update, I could see that iOS 14 public beta is updating right now. And just make sure you plug into a power supply just to make sure your phone doesn't die. So I did that from the beginning of this process. Now I'm gonna wait till the update's done then I'll show you what's next. So once you press install, it's going to go through the installation process and you'll see the Apple logo at that point. And then this is gonna take a little bit of time too. So the update process and the downloading process took 45 minutes in my case. Okay, the installation process is done now. This took another 15 minutes or so. And now just to double check, if I go to the settings app here and I go down to general and go to software update, I should see that now I'm on iOS 14. So that's how you confirm and you could leave on automatic update here so the newer iOS will update for you. And I'll make more videos to show you all the new options that iOS 14 has on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and come back to check those out. And I'll put a link in the description to the Apple's page that shows you all the updates if you wanna browse through that right now. Thanks so much for watching. Please give this a thumbs up, subscribe for easy to follow tech videos and I'll see you next time.